Hello there, welcome back to Selenium Ninja for Selenium training. So far when we have executed our test scripts, we have always used the Chrome browser for that. You must have observed that by default when the Selenium opens up any browser, it opens up without any extension or histories or cookies or etc. any other different things. That means Suppose you want to run your incog uh, you want to run your test in an incognito mode, but you cannot do that with the uh, simple Selenium because by default it opens without any extension or histories or cookies etc. But as per your requirements, you have to use incognito mode for that. So that means we have to change some of the settings in the Chrome browser. For that, to change the Chrome settings. For a particular reason to change the to alter the settings of the Google Chrome we have a special class in selenium that is called as Chrome options so Chrome options is particularly used for the Chrome uh, browser which is useful to alter the settings of the Chrome browser so let us see which settings we are going to alter some of the basic settings we are going to see in this video in my previous videos, I have created this drop downs project and here I have added some of the jar files that we uh, necessarily require. So I will just uh, create a simple class file here to save time. I'm sure you must be familiar with this thing. If you are not, please refer to the previous videos. So let's uh, name it as Chrome class. So the first step is to invoke the Chrome browser and we can do that by just using the following command. I am sure you must be familiar with the command. All right, guys. So the second step will be to use the Chrome options class in Selenium to manipulate the settings. So let's create an object of the Chrome options class. This is a Chrome Options class that we will be using in our script. Import the jar files, import the packages for the Chrome Options. Alright. So now we have created this object of the Chrome Options class and we will be using this options object to manipulate the settings. Dot. When you click on the dot, you get the bundle of op methods that are used by the Chrome Options that these methods are provided by the chrome options so our requirement is to add an argument add arguments and the first basic argument we are going to provide is the start maximize you are telling the browser hey please maximize the browser window remember in my previous videos you have checked uh, we have maximized our screen with with the uh, bundle of methods uh, i think i have shown you three methods through which you can uh, maximize but eventually chrome options provides us another method so this is this might be an interview question tomorrow that uh, can can we maximize the screen using the chrome options yes absolutely we can maximize and the second op method we will be using is options dot add arguments and this time let us run the script in an incognito mode all right guys so let us uh, execute this script this is a simple script and let's execute it All right, nothing is printed because we have not created the object of the web driver. Okay, all right, no issues. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. And here we have to pass this options as argument to the web driver. Because how come our uh, Chrome driver will know that there is a class, Chrome options class used in the script? So let's import the packages for the Chrome driver and the web driver. It's capital, I think. Yeah. 
and let's hit the URL driver dot get let's uh, hit to the simple Google all right guys let's hit the run button by default uh, our uh, uh, chrome browser used to run normally but this time our chrome browser has used has invoked in an incognito mode here you can see on the right side this is an incognito mode and it is by default maximizing the browser window all right here you can see one more method guys this line chrome is being controlled by automated test software suppose you want to get rid of this line here this is called an info bar suppose you want to get rid of this info bar you want your chrome browser to be invoked without this info bar so for that we have another uh, command which we can use to get the rid of the info bar options dot set experimental option and here you have to provide the values so let me just copy the values exclude switch and let me just paste it here and in this second argument we have to pass the collections let me just copy that also and use it here in the options that's it guys uh, import the packages for the collections yes so now when we run our execute when we execute our script we can see that we have got the rid of the info bar all right the browser has invoked and it will invoke in an incognito mode the uh, the screen is the window is maximized and you have got rid of the info bar guys for me the best usage of uh, chrome options is to run the script in an already open browser in the next video we will be seeing that i hope guys this video was helpful with the basic usage of uh, what you can do with the chrome options class there are a number of commands that can be used with the chrome options class i have just shows you some of the basic commands to get an overview of the chrome options class in the upcoming videos when we will uh, discuss briefly the chrome options at that time we will see some of the more, more uh, commands that can be used in the real time projects till then stay connected to this channel and don't forget to like comment and subscribe